welcome to High Point Music's Tone Zone. Today I'm going to be taking you through how to get some of those great guitar sounds as heard on Nirvana's Nevermind to accompany the lesson that Ryan has been doing on Smells Like Teen Spirit. Today to get these tones I'm using the Boss DS2 Distortion and the Boss CE2W Wisercraft Chorus. Kurt Cobain used a lot of different gear across his musical career. I think he was the person to get a piece of gear and really learn how to use it. So that would be my first tip. Find a guitar you really love playing, you can put some attitude into, grab the distortion pedal that you've got or pick one distortion pedal from the reviews we've done to use yourself and find how to get these aggressive and dirty guitar tones. I've got the distortion set pretty high to get that full crunch sound. I'll show you what it sounds like. Uh, the tone is pretty high. I don't want a lot of bass to keep that, that chunk under control. And the level should be a little bit above unity. So when you go from the intro to that rocking distorted riff, there's a nice jump in the dynamic change. The chorus sound I'm using is the standard CE1 chorus mode which is a really subtle chorus sound. I've got the rate turned all the way up and the depth at about half. Just to give the guitar that little bit of movement and warble around the mix, it's a nice way to really set it in and draw focus to it. So the DS2 on. And the chorus on top of that. So it's a great way to get two or three sounds out of two pedals. A little bit of movement on the chorus, as I mentioned, adds some color and some flavor, allows you to play less and play more aggressively and get that nice thick tone. If you'd like to find out more about how to get some of those Nirvana tones and Kurt Cobain tones, you can head over to the blog and find out that extra information there. There's also some great tips on how to get other types of guitar tones, particularly stacking pedals and centered around the tutorial lessons that Ryan's giving. We've also got some great information and resources via the members area where you can sign up to get some lessons and some technique stuff going on to match the gear side of things. It's really a great resource and it's free. If you'd like to stay on top of the upcoming blogs, reviews and tutorials we've got coming up, our social media is the place to do that. You can leave a comment, suggest videos you might like to see, some other reviews. It's a really good way to get in touch with us. And if you've enjoyed it, I'm sure I'll see you next week. Thank you.